Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is episode 322 of the world famous, the university love, the best podcast, and what two, three galaxies. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call it online marketing moves, and we are coming to you live today. <clears throat> today is June the 30th, 2021, at the time of this recording. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about <clears throat> why you should not worry about entering certain markets. Now, we've talked about this before. We talked about this. I read a book called The Blue Ocean Strategy. And we know, if you don't know what Blue Ocean Strategy means, it just means, let's say you get into the fitness. You say, hey, I want to be in the fitness niche. The fitness niche will be considered the red ocean. But if you break it down and go to a sub niche, you say, I want to do keto. Blue o might be might be blue ocean for you. OK, so today we are going to talk about. I'm going to give you an example. The beauty industry. OK, beauty industry can be anything from hair to makeup to your nails, your toenails plastic surgery, uh, piercings, tattoos, all this stuff. We'll, we'll throw all that stuff in there. And, you know, if you if you come up to somebody and say, I want to start doing stuff within that industry, somebody might tell you, oh, it's saturated, but it's definitely not saturated. There is so many sub-niches. There are so, so many different avenues you can go down that um, an industry like that is very profitable, you know, you see all these, I don't know if you study YouTube like like I do maybe, but <clears throat> you'll see all these makeup people. You'll see all these makeup videos, all these tutorials, and these people have, you know, 50,000, 100,000 followers, you know, and they're like, hey, check out these products, check out that product, you know, and the one thing that's most important is building an audience. You want to build an audience because once you build an audience, once you have an audience in front of you, then you then that's where the money can really start rolling in. You know, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's it's gonna be you know a little tough sledding at first, but the beauty industry, there's always somebody wanting to know more about makeup. There's always somebody willing wanting to know more about hair. You know, it just it just depends on what you want to do. You know, there's so many different avenues there's so many different ways so never think that oh i'm getting into this i'm getting into this market it's it's super saturated and no there's always room for you especially if you're going to create great content if you're going to create content on a regular basis you're going to be consistent then you will jump you will jump ahead of some people you will jump ahead of probably 75 percent of the people because a lot of people they start off you know, they say, hey, I want to start a YouTube channel. And they start off, you know, a month or so, and then they just sort of peed out. But if you just keep going and you just keep going, you know, all it takes is one video, one video, and, you know, and more people watch it and more people watch it. And then, they, you know, the algorithms, people start finding you, you know, and then you put yourself out there more. You know, you go on social media, you go on the, the, the Instagrams and all that. And you say, hey, you know, I got this page or whatever. Check out my YouTube channel. And you know, it starts from there. So I'm just giving an example of a market that, you know, you would think is crowded, but it's really not if you think about it, because there's so many different avenues now you can go down. They have people that do, you know, it's, um, you know, hair. They do, you know, some people do wigs. Some people do, they do, they do the hair. Some people do makeup. Some people do eyebrows. Some people do lips. Some people do piercings. Some people you know, do, you know, plastic surgery. Some people do, you know, I used to know a guy, he did, I think he did uh, piercings. He had a little piercing shop. He complained all the time, but he never wanted to promote himself. I mean, he never wanted to, like, take pictures. I'm like, you're going to take pictures? And he's like, no, 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 no. You know, he complained a lot, and he finally got out of it. But, you know, I mean, it's so many different ways you can go, so many different things you can do that you should never feel like, oh, I'm, I, I'm, jumping into a saturated market, you know, you all, anytime you think, oh, this, this has been done already, then 
you this is why we this is why I recommend you put your own spin on things. Don't worry about the next person. Don't worry about copying. Don't worry about, you know, you know, being a a, a a content thief, you know, create your own content, come up with your own stories, come up with your own views, your own opinions. And um, you will never be you will never be stealing from anybody. You will never be uh, unoriginal. You know what I mean? So look at that market. I mean, e- even if you, you know, go to go to just type in YouTube, just type in, you know, makeup tutorials. How many how many makeup tutorials there are? How many you know, people out here are doing makeup. How many people are selling makeup? I listened to a couple, a couple podcasts of entrepreneurs that got into makeup or lip gloss or whatever. And, you know, they, they have been become highly successful. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of you being consistent. It's just a matter of you being persistent. You know, it's, it's, and and that's it. And I know, you know, of course you want you want to make good content, but the more you make it, the better off you will be, the better you will get at it. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't think don't think of it's like when people say, Hey man, you're gonna get an affiliate market. Affiliate marketing is tough. Yeah, affiliate affiliate marketing is tough when you don't have an audience. Affiliate marketing is very tough when you don't have any anybody to you know, say, hey, go to this link and, you know, check this out. You know, you gain the audience, you build an audience and then affiliate marketing is fairly simple. You know what I mean? Because as we all know, let's say you have 100,000, 200,000, you know, even 10,000, you know, people, so followers or whatever, subscribers, you know, even if 10, 5%, you know, 5% by 10% by that's, yeah, five percent people buy, it and you have ten thousand followers. That's what five hundred. So I mean, you know, you do the math. Of course, you know everybody's not going to buy everything, but it's not the point. The point is to build a following, to build, to generate, you know, leads. Generate leads, you know. That's why you. That's why you. That's why you must be producing content to generate leads. To get leads, to get eyeballs to you, to get people to follow you, to get people to like you trust you know you you know and then your business will start to flourish your business will start to take off but you know in my humble opinion i think you should definitely start working on the audience building the audience you know and because the best the best kind of audience paid traffic is okay but you want referrals and you want people that you have found on your own you want leads that you have generated on your own you know paid ads are great and all but a lot of times a lot of people when it's more it's more it's harder work to get somebody to go from you know cold cold traffic you know cold you know and they're like hey this is a paid ad okay i'll check it out you know it's kind of harder to convert but not like you can't but you know it's it's a whole lot easier if it's just somebody that you that's found your YouTube channel. And you're like, hey, go check out this product. Check out that product. They be like, I like this person, you know, because a lot of times at the end of the day, people buy from us because they like us. They don't buy the product. They they're buying you. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. And if you if you do want to get into the, the the makeup world, it's uh it's uh it's very profitable. It's very lucrative. You know, there's certain niches that are more profitable than others like beauty relationships and talking about finance talking about wealth you know helping people create stuff create a business that that's it's always going to be more lucrative you know but you can always you don't have to just say hey i'm in the i'm in the i'm in the health industry it's, it's like what part of the health industry does so many avenues so always be thinking about that always be writing down which which avenue would you like to take and then start doing your research and then start figuring out what kind of content you can start producing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the day is today's episode. Uh, keep this in mind. No market is super saturated. Okay. No market is super saturated. You have to get in there, figure out what, what you, what you can do, figure out what you want to do, you know, break it down, you know, and then take it from there because, like health, like beauty, like health, health and beauty is like billions and billions and billions of dollars in, in those industries. So 
you know, all you need is a slice of the pie and you can be making a very successful living at that as well. All right. So keep that in mind. Don't ever think anything's super saturated, oversaturated. All right. Break it down, figure it out, start creating content, start getting a following, getting some traction and make it and make things easier for yourself. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wish I knew how to. I mean, hey, listen. I wish I didn't. I wish I knew how to do somebody's hair, make a make a wig, you know. Man, I'd be making a killing. But anyway, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of online marketing moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Look up Tony Rizzano, T O N Y R E S O N N O. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to the Facebook. Like share and follow online marketing moves page we are uh, we post you know episodes of the podcast but we will start posting more stuff in the near future but until tomorrow we'll be back with all new episode take care of yourselves and as always everybody peace <laughs>